Hi friends, what's this window? Here is a button. I can click this and browse in my local system and select the folder. So that folder will be available to me and it displayed on a label. I can use it in various other applications. Even I can change this also to browse to some other location and select that. We'll see how to do this. This is a blank template we'll be using. To this we'll add our components, one button and one label also. Let's just see how this looks. Here it is, the simple one. Let's just add one. First we'll start with our button B1. Now it is TK dot button. Now where it is? I am placing it in my parent window, my underscore W at line number three. You can see we have declared it. So some text will write it. Whatever you want to write it, you can write it also. Select directory or select folder, whatever you want to write. Then slightly bigger font I am giving, uh, 22. Then what next is the command? So here I am going to the next line command equal to lambda because a small function I will call. So my fun is my function which I have not yet written. So I have to write it. I am just giving the name of the function here and slightly background I am changing. You can give hex code also light uh, green. That's all. So this my button is placed. Note that my function I am yet to write it. So I then I will where I will display it. I will display the directory in a label. So I will put a label here L1 tk dot label now and again my underscore w then text. What is the text? Uh, I will write it there. <coughs> now that my dir. My dir is a variable. In fact, I have not declared it. Let me declare it here. <coughs> At the end, I can create a my dir. It's a blank string actually where it's a variable. I am uh, just connecting it to this. Whatever data is there, that will be displayed it here. So I am declaring it in the root because inside the function also I will change it. So my dad there. Then slightly again background color I am giving yellow. So it will be prominently it will, uh, distinctly it will be visible. Now slightly font I am increasing font equal to 18. One thing I missed in both the places. Here I have not placed the grid also. Let me just place it b1 dot grid this button i am placing it in the grid row equal to 0 and column equal to again 0 so it is the left top leftmost row so that is how we have it. and we will not flush it with the left edge so giving pad x equal to 10 then pad y slightly bigger sorry sorry here i missed the comma pad y equal to 20 so it is not flushed to the top so gap of 20 is maintained now coming back to the label this label will be right of our button let me little bit move up fine so this label will be right of our button so we'll go column one step so column should be one otherwise less everything should be same l1 dot grid row equal to zero same row to the right of it same row i'm uh, placing it and uh, col column equal to 1 because button is my column 0. So slightly pad x from the bottom I am maintaining a pad x of 2. That's enough. So that's all. My layout is ready. Only thing I have is I, my function I have not written. Let me just write it now and let's we'll see and sorry define define my function and pass so now my code should i will just see how this layout uh, looks with this here it is we'll start writing inside our code just two lines of code only i am my di dir this is my directory what i have declared at the top now file dialog you can see this file dialog i have already included in the line number two you can see here i have imported this this is available for me so my uh, file dialog now ask sorry 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 where i am ask directory that's all so my now this line will open the dialog box and ask the and the user can select the and browse through and select any folder they want and that path will be stored inside my variable my diary so that is now available now next step is how i will configure i will display that path so i will just 
do my label my label i have line number 13 i have declared it you can see here that 13 line number it is there here so this particular one the text is already it is by default it is connected let me just change this here so l1 now i am configuring it any attribute i can change it by using config function so for it is applicable for any wizard also so config text equal to my diary that's all so now my whatever the variable value of my diary is that will be displayed on the label let me just save this and run once let me move it bit up here it is select the directory you can see i have this directory now okay i'll select this it is displayed now let me just browse to another folder select the folder so it is display so that's all this is this input whatever i am getting at uh, as uh, a text this i can use it in my other application say i am developing a photo gallery where i want to show all the photographs of within a folder i can use this so uh, user can browse to any other location or can pick up any location and all the photographs one by one i can show it and in many other applications also you want the user to uh, select a directory in their local system there this this can be used that's all friends i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we upload new new videos we frequently do that and please like this video and share it with your friends and if you have any doubt suggestion comment or anything you want give us feedback use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching